Hi guys. What's going on guys? What's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today's video is special. It's like every other video we make. We're girl. having a girl. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Our last video of 2020. This is it, 2020. I uh, wanted to take the time here today to kind of reflect on 2020. Uh, kind of go back and think about the things that we've done throughout the year, because it's actually been a pretty big year for us. Yeah, a very little... big year, very long year. Yeah, I think it's been a long year for everybody, but yeah, we've gone through a lot I'm of stuff. We're still going. <laughs> and we're ending this year like on the worst possible note because we're both COVID positive. We're both sick. Look at this. The camera don't want to see that shit. <laughs> Look at this. I busted my finger. Busted my finger saving Cynthia. Oh my god. He keeps saying that. He didn't do anything heroic. <laughs> he get out the car and smash his finger on the car door. That had nothing to do with me. That had to do with I his... was rushing. I was rushing to get you coffee. So what we want to do with this video is we want to take it back to the beginning of 2020. And we would kind of want to just... Like he said, reflect on the... The good and the bad. Yeah, think, yeah, of this year. Early this year, what happened? We found out that we were pregnant. Yeah, we found out super early that we were pregnant because we're planning it actually. So yeah, so I think one of the best things to happen this year, one of the best things is um, we found out that we're finally having a baby. And then ha like having this baby like made us reevaluate re like children. All our baby decisions. Yes. Every single one. We wanted three kids. We means she. Like, I was like originally thinking like two. But I feel like just two is kind of like boring. I yeah. have a big family in regards to siblings. I have three younger sisters, one older brother. And I've always felt like the chaos in the house was so familiar to me. <laughs> That's why I wanted three kids, at least three kids, because I love that chaos in the house. That's why I wanted three. But then this one came around, I was like, well, maybe two sounds good. <laughs> maybe we'll adopt a grown one. A grown one? <laughs> that was January. Actually, mm -hmm. January we found out, and then February we told everybody. Yeah, about the February baby. we told everybody. Yeah. Because I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait. You know, you're supposed to wait like the whole 12 weeks. I wasn't trying to wait that. I was trying to tell everybody the same day. Actually, I did tell my mom the same. Actually, my mom was the first one I told. Before yeah. I told him. Yeah, I'm always number two. I think it was like before COVID. I quit my job. I quit my job in January. Oh yeah, he did quit his job. Yeah, I quit my job and I went full time in, into real estate. And I became a sugar mama because yeah. he quit his job. He was jobless. I, I wasn't bringing any money. That was scary. Like that was probably like one of the scariest things because I quit my job and then we found out that we were going to have a baby, so which is great timing. So you didn't quit in February, you liar? No, I quit in January. Oh. And then COVID hit. Yeah. And we both had to start working from home. We became work buddies. I think you liked it like- More like, than you? Well, listen, mm -hmm. all right. So you, I think that you like working from home way better because of the nature of your job. Yeah. Like I the did. nature of my job is a little bit different. Yeah. So like I can't, like he being can't. at home is not productive, as productive as being out meeting people. You that know I mean? and then he hates being home. I love being home. I'm a super huge homebody. I can be home all day, every day. He cannot. Like during this quarantine for us, because of us testing positive for COVID, I'm living my best life. This guy is stressing. Yeah. Stressing while I'm just chilling, kicking back. Look, I don't even have makeup on, my hair's in a bun. I'm fine. <laughs> well, I think the reason why I'm not so much as a homebody. <clears throat> Tell me your life. Because this these things are temporary. Like these homes that we're in are temporary. And that's another thing that happened this year. We moved. We moved into a better area this year. Yeah. We moved yeah. in the summer. We yeah. moved because we were having a baby. Um, our old apartment, we loved our old apartment. Yeah. It was such a perfect place. It wasn't big enough though, unfortunately, but it was very up-to-date, very modern. 
The area we lived in was not the best. It wasn't that great, but we had to move because we needed a bigger space. And the and on top of that, we wanted to make sure that the area we lived in was so much better for the baby, you know? Yeah. The day we were leaving, he found a used needle on the street right in front of our apartment. Yeah. You know, and it's just not, what is that? <laughs> I constantly miss that apartment all the time. Yeah. It was one of our favorites. Oh, fuck, she got me. <laughs> you make like a mess, mamas. Our little friend woke up. 2020 has brought us our one of our biggest gifts in our life. Little baby. Oh, September, baby was born. Yeah. September, our baby was born. She's gotten so big already, this girl. Freaking, look at her. <laughs> We're in the hospital for, what, for like eternity to have this little girl. That felt like another lockdown. Oh, in that itself, was yeah, it was. What are you looking at? As the, the rest of the year went on, was having visitors to come see the baby, which was, I was very hesitant about because of this whole COVID thing, but mm -hmm. Apparently, I'm the one to catch it. Did you take her off my finger to put her on your finger? Yeah. We're hoping with this year to come, you know, we put out more videos for you guys. Um, you know, it's something that we enjoy doing. It just has gotten a little bit harder with, you know, baby here, and it's kind of hard to just film, just in general. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's something that we hope to kind of just go ahead and um, be better at next year, you know? <laughs> you look so tired. <laughs> All right, so 2021, what does 2021 look like for us? I think I see that uh, YouTube blowing up for us. I see that be able to put a lot more content for you guys. Uh, I feel like my business is gonna be doing way better than it did this year. This year alone, I mean, I did a, a, a good amount of business and I'm very blessed for that. Um, but I think that I'm gonna be able to help out a lot more families next year. And I'm gonna have this one to help me out. Like a stay at home mom? I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people, I don't want to say a lot of people don't like to be a stay-at-home mom. I'm pretty sure there are lots of moms that wish they can be stay-at-home moms. And that's me. I'm one of them. I'm one of those moms. Because, like, how are you going to have me have a baby in America, stay with her for four months, fall in love with her, and then rip her away from me when I got to go to work? Who in the hell thinks that's, like, the right thing to do? And before we, move, we continue with this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. We're hoping next year to be um, so much better for us. We kind of want this whole YouTube thing to be, like, our full-time job. So that's something we're definitely going to work on next year. Mm -hmm. um, I, for 2021, I want to work on not only this YouTube uh, channel, but also the mom pod. Um, I want to make sure that that it blows up for us as well. You know, it's something that we're really excited about. It's something that we love doing, um, and it's actually really fun when we do it. Uh, so that's something that I'm really hoping for 2021 for the mom pod to blow up as well. Um, another thing I want to do in 2021 is probably buy a place. Mm. That's something that we always talked about. The reason why we're renting is because you know, we're doing it to save money. A lot of people think that it's, you know, wasteful, which it kind of is, but we're also in California. So, what do you, yeah. you know, anyways, so <laughs> what we want to eventually do is, you know, hopefully buy a place this year, mm -hmm. um, have maybe even a couple of investment properties, which is our yep. ultimate goal, what we really want to do. You know, I feel like when it comes to like future, um, uh, future plans, Danny and I are very eye to eye on it. Mm -hmm. And so that's something I'm very excited about. So, so what does that mean? I mean, buying a house means more, like more projects, more things uh, to do with the family. That means uh, actually having a little bit more uh, that type of content for you guys. So let us know what you guys think. I mean, we would you guys be interested in seeing, you know, DIY projects or you know? I'm a very DIYer. <laughs> it doesn't usually work, but yeah, we're DIYers. It does. <laughs> Since losing my taste. I hate that. I hate that I can't taste anything. Like I can't taste or smell anything is the worst. I, I We had coffee earlier today. Not we. I had coffee earlier today. I couldn't taste it. It's the worst. And I think because he knows what it is. He knows that it's coffee. So he's searching for that taste. So he gets that underlying like layer of the taste. But I'm pretty sure he's not. Mm. Because earlier he was making chicken and I was trying to taste it. I don't know what the hell I was tasting for. There was no, no flavor in my mouth. Yeah, it, it's, Corona's a good way 
to uh, to lose weight, to lose your appetite, because ask me how many pounds I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> how many pounds? Uh... <laughs> you don't even have the answer. <laughs> I, I've lost about eight pounds already. Another 2021 goal, hopefully vacation. Oh yeah, with oh, the definitely. baby. Definitely. Something tropical. If there was a place for you guys to travel to in 2021 when all this is over, where would it be? One trip that we should do, because I feel like it's kind of like easy peasy, lemon squeezy, is Mexico. Like an all-inclusive Mexico trip. Yeah. I've never been to Mexico, and I feel like that's gonna be fun. But another thing that we wanna do in 2021 is go on more vacations with family. You know, with the whole Big Bear trip, even though we did get sick. Um, you know, we had a lot of fun, and um, it's something that I'd love to do again. A uh, different location, obviously. Different season, obviously. It was cold. Yeah, it was too freaking cold. <laughs> so we hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve. A safe New Year's Eve with your family and friends. All right, guys. Well, we hope that you had a wonderful 2020 <laughs> and that you're hopeful for 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Press the little notification down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye, mamas. He's had enough of us.